So a couple weeks ago I filmed us working on the dozer and we did some things so let me put that up right now and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. What else is there? Do I need to take that whole front cover off? Ah, I remember this. I put these together and these bolts down here were a real nuisance. I think that these the, four bolts. The brakes then, got, both brakes got to come off because I might have to take that whole front cover. Because there's just a coupler under that, I think. I don't yeah. remember. And then there's a big knot. Oh, yeah, I had the brakes off. The brakes were off. I put the brakes back on, but they both need new cylinders. Yeah, got a little work to do. Okay, so that's what we're going to work on is getting that off. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I might take the controller right off too. The controller? Yeah. Yeah, even if you just take it off and move it off to the side. The controller weeps back into the transmission. That's open there. I've heard of the gasket going bad on the controller, and that way, that's why you have intermittent loss of pressure too. There's pressure there? There's pressure on, the, on all the spools. I know, but there's no pressure on that gasket. That just this drains gasket. back. Oh, 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 there's spool bottom, gasket, yes. The bottom gasket right there, there's two side gaskets. This well, that'd be a need a new bottom controller. bottom gasket right here. Now you change the gasket, which I think we have another control. I know, but this is the good one. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Sunday we're going to work on this. We're not supposed to work on Sunday. This isn't work. It's not work, is it? Really? It's all how you look at it. I know. This is just big, heavy, dangerous Legos. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, oh, man, i got to start the day with some coffee. <laughs> what are you doing now? Ooh, Porta Powers. We got a real mousetrap set up. Nice. Uh huh. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't take much pressure. Just get us over that little edge. Okay, so it turns out the shaft in here doesn't want to just fall out, does it, Connor? No. <laughs> they should have assumed, I guess. So we got here, we got all the way to our shaft, our pinion shaft. Can I turn it? Yeah. Can. Which there's a gear on the other side of this housing that you basically can't get to without pulling the front cover off. But there's there's the gear that's the that's the tooth that's sheared off. Okay, so that was our problem. We gotta get rid of that shaft. Down inside here is a gear that rides on that shaft that mates with that gear. That's a shaft above the shaft we're taking out. So ooh, look what Connor's got. You know what? This ain't gonna work. I need to get the fluid in this. Huh? I gotta get more fluid in this. Remember we used a whole bunch of fluid up with Oh the yeah, we used that to press out the thing. So I gotta put fluid in this jack. We got jack oil? I hope so. Alright, well, so as usual we have to fix two things to fix one thing. What do you think? Is that gonna work? I had to put uh here, go hit the thingy. Transmission fluid in the jack and the port of power. I hope work? it don't ruin the seals. I don't know. Is it moving? Keep going. You moving yet? Keep going, keep going. I'm going. Hang on. Go one more crank. It's just bending that plate. Nope, stop. Really bending the plate? I found a really good way to bend a half inch plate. Ah! We'll take I need the angle iron. Off. I need angle. All right. Well, they probably got the plate right uh, next to us. Where I've been throwing our. Steel. You need some pretty good angle. Oh, that half inch plate bending that easy, huh? <coughs> huh. Uh, yeah. Oh well. We got new rusty scrap to try. Yeah, maybe it won't bend so easy. Oh, that looks really good. <laughs> that is so close, you can't do nothing. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Doesn't matter, matter which way you flip it. Uh, it's too dang perfect. I don't know, man. Why don't we just keep pounding on it? <laughs> oh, you know what might work, Connor? Impactor. I'm gonna let the machine down. Move my blocks. It went down. Impact hammer. <laughs> what do you think? Doubt it. Those things never work for me. Whatever. I, I don't know why they're so popular. Because they work for everyone else. Not for me. Not for me. It doesn't like me. Uh, All right, so I gotta go back to cranking the jack. You don't even need that jack there right now. It's sitting on the rollers. No, I mean, got this jack to hold that block there so this doesn't just spin it. Oh, that's so clever, Connor. Which means that we could actually kick the jack out in two ways. Drop the machine <laughs> again, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. That ain't gonna happen. No. Heavens no. All right, so you're gonna be able to get in there, you think? 
don't know if I can or not. Do you have it released all the way? Yeah. Okay, it's all the way bottomed up. Yeah. I didn't put it tight again, I don't think. Let me check. Nope, loose. I gotta move it a good half an inch more so that, that leans back more. Well, daggum it. Yep. Oh man, we'll figure it out. I gave a little more space. I don't like the angle. I'm hoping it doesn't take much more pressure than we had on it to just get it moving. You know? You're just about there. There we go, you got it. Okay. All right, I'll go crank the jack. Yeah, jack up the machine first. Oh, I gotta do that too? Yeah. So that's putting weight on that board that he's got wedged in there. Did you take the, you didn't close the. Thought I did. It's jack and it's just a thousand pumps per inch. Oh, maybe it ain't. This is an air assist jack I I got when I was working on the uh, the big RV. There it goes. Picking it up. Yeah. That good? Uh, that probably did it. Okay, tighten up this. You ready? Yep. Got pressure. I can feel it. Watch your little fingers if that pops. You're getting a lot of pressure. Yeah, I'm one, I don't know. Is there any way you can tap it? Now we got some steady pressure on it. Give it a little love tap somehow. I need a dinkier hammer. Yes, you need a dinkier hammer. I think that 12 pound slug just ain't cutting it. Okay, Connor found a nice prehistoric hammer to use. <laughs> ah, that way, you gotta hit on the end. I'm just saying, if it's... Oh, it's gonna stay there? Yeah. It's like no way to get in there. No. No, that'll break the tool. Wow, this is just this is a puzzle. <sighs> Putting pressure on the channel. Mm. Nothing. We gotta come up with something that'll work. I wish we had a bearing separator. I don't have any of those bearing separators. We throw it on there and start pulling it that way. There's not even enough room for that, Dad. Nah, there really isn't, is there? No. Oh, you know how we could avoid taking out the, uh, we could take out this clutch pack shaft. Maybe that would make, maybe then we could avoid getting into the front cover. Uh-huh. You know? Is that easier? Then you could reach in there. Yeah, then you could reach in through that hole. That might be easier then. That might be the way to roll. I don't know. That sprockets in your way. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So we haven't figured out how to get the shaft out, but we're pretty sure we know how to put it back in. <laughs> I won't say that he can reach his fingers in there through where that suction tube comes down. You know what else? That suction tube doesn't suck from the bottom. No, it doesn't. It's four it's, inches up. Is it supposed to? I don't know. I don't, I know don't imagine. I think in the drawing it's pointing down. That could have been our it's it sucking up, it's, it's cavitating the oil or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Rotate very easy either. So well, that's on. probably not the problem then. All right, so we got to figure out how to get that shaft out of there. <laughs> Dead silence. Crickets, crickets. Two hours later. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, we don't know what to do. <laughs> we'll figure it out and come back to it. Grandpa, can I have a Y? A what? Can I have a Y? A right on what? The backhoe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Let's film this up. He wants to have a ride. All right, so we're down to the point where we figured out the gear that we're trying to push has got a snap key on it. While the shaft, the, the gear inside here has a snap ring, so we gotta tear the thing apart. So we're pulling the transmission out now. But we're down to pulling off these bolts on both sides, and that's about it, right, Con? I believe so. Unhook the hoses. There's a couple hoses down there you gotta get unhooked, and then we're gonna take the back home. We're gonna grab a hold of this thing. Well, well how come that was so easy? Larry Lucy. Well, that makes sense. Do they just screw into the housing? They do. We're gonna have this out in a heartbeat then. Okay, I do have to loosen them. <laughs> Gotta loosen those with a big wrench. We don't have an impactor that'll drive anything. We don't have air hose. 
Well, maybe that big impactor will take them out, but probably not. Oh, this, the bottom ones, you got to wrench all the way because <laughs> we got a final driving away on this side. So we got all these big bolts out. We got all that out. How did you break that? Daddy broke it. Daddy but, broke that wrench. But what? But this this is metal. It is metal, but he still broke it. Metal breaks all the time. No. See, <laughs> I can't break that. He can't break it. Oh, Daddy can. Yeah, Daddy can break it. I'm pretty good at breaking tools. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to be good at something. I am bad at breaking them too. Cool. Ah, you dropped it. <laughs> what did I drop? Daddy dropped his wrench. Well, I thought I should laugh at him for it. Definitely. That, that is drop. what you call a pipe right there. Everything is going you don't want to struggle on these I things. I don't want to struggle on it. Do what? Have to move that jack. Nestle the bucket. Nestle the bucket in there. It'll stop against that. It'll be lipped on this. Then we can hook a chain on that hole or something around the front. So just so it doesn't swing out of the way. So it doesn't flop off. All right, I'll go get the back hoe. The question is, can I take this, uh, I might need a jack stand to set this up so I get this jack out of the way. No safe places to hook, huh? Told you I could do it. Well, actually, I didn't, but. All right, it's out again. <laughs> Finally, we can get those leaves off there now. <laughs> What's holding it from like spinning around in a circle and flopping off the bucket? Don't ask questions like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Where do you want to put it? You want to take it inside, right? I do. Well, yeah. we got to clear a spot. I don't want to just get it over with and done, so that ought to motivate us. Yeah. 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 Got these blocks. We'll bring these blocks in. We'll set them on blocks a little bit. Okay. All right. So you got it in here, and he's already pulling the clutch packs out. Well, the one they, was loose. They slide right out. The one was coming off, so I had to pull it off. I mean, it was coming off. Yeah, it was coming just, off. Just from moving it, it was falling apart. When you pulled it over here, it came out. Oh no, and then kidding. The, the teeth moved. Oh, so now you, you got, you now you got to line them all up. To get them on, yeah. 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 Because once once they those teeth move around, you can't put it together. Nice, Bo's gonna start working on it. <laughs> he wants it. <laughs> Our miniature mechanic, he can actually just climb in there and fix it. <laughs> I won't push right back on. Why? There, we go. there you go. You were nervous though, weren't you? Of course. 
<laughs> you're always thinking there's a spring. There's something there. behind there that's going to drop off and, Dink, and then ruin everything. All right, well, that's as far as we got here today. Well, not bad. No. It'll take 45 minutes to take that front off. We'll be right to getting that, that pinion out in about an hour. Yeah. So that's pretty good. And then we also have to deal with this the input shafts. Hub is sloppy as hell. I want maybe one on the other one's better. Do we even know where that is? I bet you it's on that back shelf. Yeah. A lot of the inners for that transmission are on that back shelf. So we'll have to look at that. Maybe we'll switch it. Does that have to come apart or does that stay in the front cover? <clears throat> look down that hole and see or I don't know. That might stay on the front cover. I don't No, it's a separate unit. Okay. This, this unbolts from it. Uh-huh. But that's what I'm saying. That looks like it's. Oh, you think that that shaft. That shaft, that whole right thing up. just stays on that cover. It might just come right up. Yeah, that'd be a good thing to see. Yeah, that's pretty lame. If we yeah. got a better one, we're changing that. Yeah, because we got a lot of slap, slop there. You that's half see. the teeth. That's half a tooth, yeah. Yeah. Huh. She wouldn't think. Maybe this has more than 8,000 hours on it. <laughs> this has got hours on it. Huh? This has got hours on it. These are, these are pretty modern machines for the time. Oh yeah, they were. Yeah, they abandoned the whole clutches and brakes. Yeah, setup. they went to little, little, little levers to steer and, and go forward and backward. I mean, it's high and low. A bunch of. And then another high and low with the uh, with the lever. All right. Well, guys, we got that tour out of there. We got her in the barn, so we're gonna pick it up from here. So, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you on the next one.